Right, so this is Highly Pools on the Warrington Anglers card. It's been ages since I've been on here. Um, last time I come here, it was full of small tench and small crewies and rud. And then a few years ago, like with a lot of Warrington waters, they stocked them with carp. So I believe there's a, a good head of carp in here between five and ten pound. And if he doesn't shut up, we're in for a, a loud day. Looks like a nice peg. I said I'll be on the um, the method feeder and short pole today. So yeah, that's obviously a popular peg, judging by the uh, amount of tackle in the trees. And so, looking for a peg with um, a short margin, really, so I can fish a short pole, literally just one section, and a decent chuck with a, a method, with the method. And so, I have a good walk round. And sometimes, you know, this is, you know, going to be a session basically on a new water, it's a new water to me, but that looks a, it's a nice type of peg that I'd like that one, nice and quiet, out of the way, looks like a nice place where the carp would live, the pegs look all nice, nicely, um, nicely done out, when I first come onto a water, you know, I'll get loads of questions about what I'm looking for when I first come on a water and generally like anybody else I'm looking for any sign of fish the gear's still in the car so I mean, the car's only over there but yeah just looking for any sign that will give away the presence you know even the, the presence of a fish being around which there isn't any of at the moment but yeah that's highly pool be on the method reader and the short pole and we'll uh, we'll see what we get alright so that's the pellets just about wetted for two minutes put in the landing net squeezed all the water out and then just some of the Cheshire particle hemp oil, not a lot, you don't need a lot, you really don't, and just mix it in at this stage so they're all coated, and then I leave them just at the stage where they're about, they won't go together like that, but they're not ready to go on a method feeder. And another tip I've got, I was asked earlier this week about using stinky stuff. I use it both ways, um, either spraying it on the method feeder just before you cast it out or to make it go further, I put some on now, not a lot, a liberal sprinkling and that means that whole batch then has got the flavour on it before it goes out. It just makes this product go a lot further and that's how I fish it and that's how I'll be fishing it today. Let's see how we do. Oh, we're finally in. Took a while for the rod to fly around. It's not like Cheshire fishery. The proper fishery, you've got the island to my right here with lots of snags on. So it's um, be a case of not giving it too much, and there's an island over there. It'll be a case of you know being in control of the fish on this one. You know, like on the other one, you could let the bail arm go and have a bit of fun. You've got to think about the fish on places like this and 
you know, control the fish away from the snags. It's a nice looking common it looks like. Oh, we'll get him out. Go and he's ours. Oh, yeah. Just get the um, unhooking mat set up and the camera, and we'll have a look. Right, as you can see behind, lovely, lovely day. The fish went just over five pounds, real chunky, common carp, uh, mirror carp, sorry. Let's say a lovely fish, lovely condition. There we go really in good condition when that get fish gets to double figures you can imagine it being a lovely fish to catch at the moment just over you know between five and six pound i imagine we did a quick way and it was you know six pound with the net and the handle so be around the four to five six pound mark but a lovely fish an absolutely lovely fish and in a lot better condition than the ones we were getting on the commercial it just shows the battering they take on there but yeah, last time, and we'll get him back. A lovely fish on a summer's day. Fantastic. And for any angler, here's the best part. We we'll quickly left inside. ready to go. Let's get you off the, the vest. And there he goes. Straight down in the margin to soak. So yeah, first fish of the day. It took about an hour to come. But just leaving the rod in position and having confidence in the in you're in the right area and the right bit of the, the swim and a good bait just wait for the fish to find you and yeah it's worked let's see if we can get another one right as you can see move swims now um I've, the old idea of coming today obviously me, me mate um gary joined me after work so there's better here for two people to sit close and have a chat than there is over there so yeah just moved over this side now after having that fish cast into the same area that's why i've come to this peg instead of the one next i can get to the area where i just had the bite so yeah fingers crossed i was going to fish a pole line but the way that fish fought on here and it was only a small one it's not you know you've got to think of the fish welfare there's no way on, on white hard jaw I'm going to get a fish in on here. There's snags down there. There's lily pads down on this peg. Yeah, it's just not right to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to stick on the method feed now the rest of the night. And see what we get. Right, finally into another one. Tip just went round again. This new swim. And obviously this presents a whole new catalogue of, of problems we've got. Lily beds, um, slags under her feet here, she's going for it, going hard for the snags now, you can see down there, only a small one again, the rod just got the bail arm off, so it's in free spool, and the first thing you really know is the rod, is the, the bail arm starts spinning. That sun's gone in, and now that sun's gone in, it's gone really chilly, really chilly. 
hopefully keep it in the deeper water it might mean a few more come down obviously there is the island the island but i don't think they're around the island about one missed run about one missed run and two fish now coming in open water and this one again around about the same size as the last one Well, not the same size as the last one. Lovely condition, a lovely looking fish, and we'll have a quick look at it now. Right, here we go. I'm a small carp. Again, in fantastic condition. A lovely looking fish. Clean mouth. Little flap, as you're looking at. Which, incidentally, is covered in. Um, Tadpoles. <laughs> I've scooped up a lot of tadpoles as I scooped the fish up. But look at that, that's a lovely looking small fish. And see, it's amazing. I was led to believe they all went in at the same size, the same, you know, from um, Winsford, a Winsford water, the flash. And some are coming out more double, you know, just over 10 pounds. So it's amazing how the same fish go in, but some grow faster than others. They are heavy set fish. They are, there's a, they're a lot heavier than they are, they, they look. But yeah. Second fish of the night, it's about half past three. I think my mate Gavi's just turned up in the car park and we'll get this lovely one back. The rod's just gone off again. It's got on the back of the lily so we're in trouble. Mega trouble. <laughs> Keep the pressure on, hopefully, it'll come through. Another small little carp. A lot darker this one. And the others are about the same type of size. Again on the juice dumbbell. So we'll get him on the mat now and have a look, good look at him. Again, about the, the same size. A um, couple of pounds. Probably massive. Have a good fun. So I knew that lily bed to me right, it'd be a problem. It, it, not a lot you can do when it goes out a bit, but yeah. Came around the outside of it okay. They're very lively. I'll do it one last time. There we go. As I said before, when you get to, up to double figures, they'll be lovely fish if you get one of them in here. I bet they're a beautiful fish when you get them. Because these ones are thin perfect. With lovely scale patterns on them. One last time. And we're getting back in the water. So there's certainly nowhere to go on here. Eh? 
piece of knit one pearl one. We've got him out in front of us now, which is after battle. Healthy bend in the rod. Let it play out. Only another small one. I didn't half tear it off. Well, it seems like they're turning on a bit. Gary's just had a bit of a screamer. It's come off. I'll say, we just weighed this one. £7.11, I think Gary said it was. Lovely fish. The colours and they are in lovely condition. I know I've said that on each time I've caught one, but they are lovely fish. And certainly be back for another go at them. They're not shaped, they're not very long, but they've certainly got depth to them. I say, yeah, we'll get this guy back in the water and um, we'll see if we get one more. This side of it, again, just flip him around and show you this side. This side's even, even better. Scale pattern. So I say, yeah. Might be the last fish of the night. So if it is, um, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. But yeah, let's get this guy back and let's see if we can get one last one before the light goes. Gary's rod just screamed off. I think probably going to be the last fish of the day. The place has just come alive with, fi with bubbles everywhere, fish feeding. And again, nice carp to end the session. Right, just while we're sorting Gabby's fish out, doing some pictures, mine screamed off. What a way to end the session. Both get in a cart right on last knockings and say right behind my rod when it went off doing the pictures and yeah with the great way to end the session fantastic these both these back now in the water but yeah great way to end the session <laughs>